Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to do a, a series of videos regarding this one-off world first exposure of a system. A free energy system. Never, never been thought of before or, or been mentioned in this configuration. Now we, a lot of us will know about the road and coil, right? It's a single system and the philosophy behind it all. What Marco used to talk about, he was right on the nail, but he didn't really have the full system. He's got a, just a single unit system. He was missing the fact that it should be a dual system that feeds itself because it feeds the energy back into the system. And we know, we know that the, the um, over unity is created within this core system, but it's the perpetual feeding that recycles it all through, that keeps it going, and it's all in this model. It's like a it's like a double core system, and we know if the cores are normally you know stepping down or stepping up, they're not they're not often the same. Impotence they call it. The, this, this, the length of this copper here is basically the same length as what's going on in here. They're equal. And this refers back to Greek words isotropic. Isos being equal and tropo. Tropo being turn and change. Because the system within our Earth system changes because Earth is negative. This is positive system and that's what Tessa knew about and that's how he came to design his induction motor and I'm going to read you something that he's put in here he's, he's got written down now I'm going to do a series on these because one day someone's going to get it because I'm not an electrical engineer I can't even I'm going to try and test it I'm, I'm getting some equipment but I don't really know what I'm doing but I know the system works because it works with earth and earth is a magnetic field and it's a dual system but science hasn't got their head around about this, the, around this dual system. Um, so we could say the magnetic, well we know our system's electromagnetic, so we have electricity and magnetism, and you don't have magnetism without electricity, or vice versa, but we don't have uh, uh, copper cables running around the world, do we? No, it's all a magnetic system. So there's two entities, and, it's, and it brings us back to high and low pressure. Because the magnetic field moves in the wind. The wind carries the magnetic field. The Egyptians, Plato, they all talk about that. And that's what's happening. That's what drives the whole magnetic field. Our whole system is the wind drives the magnetic field. And we have two systems. We have the the, iso, the, the tropics, sorry, arctics, north and south, both cold. In the middle, we have the tropics. Cold, cold, in the middle we have the tropics, the warm. Hot, with cold rushing to hot. There's the dual system. There's no south and north on a spinning ball. There's no spinning ball to Earth. It's complete bullshit. The, the cold from there and there rushes to the tropics. So you could say this is south, there's north for south. Then we have north here and there's south for the northern hemisphere. So there's north and south for the hemis northern hemisphere. Here's south and north for the southern hemisphere. So this system, so we can't create a dual magnetic field unless we get the get the this thing made properly, and that starts feeding itself. So it'd have to be an exterior outdoor system where it's using the atmosphere to circulate, just like Earth does, basically. So it just re it pulls in that. The warm air and just drive the cold and warm air just circulates, but we'd have to form some sort of. That would be another system, I think. Another uh, close to get the hot and the cold, we'd have to have a closed system, but like this sort of thing. Up again, a lot comes up back up here, but a lot actually goes back in there, shoots in there, gets trapped in there, and this hot air coming out of here goes down and gets sucked in there. 
and that's where the plasma is created in, the, in a um, fusion reactor. So that's why it should work, that's why Earth works, because that's where our sun is. So, when it comes to designing this system, it's, it's to be designed because all religions and that lead to this, it's the Holy Grail basically. And I'm going to read you something no one will ever understand, but I'm, I've got a paragraph out of the Holy Grail, the story of King Arthur. It sort of sums up a little bit. But th this is it. Um, you know, Earth is negative, this is positive above. And it just hits the Earth and it shoots off in the opposite direction. So it'll come down there and then shoots back here and starts going back up there. This comes down there, hits there, shoots off, goes back up there. So then you bring capacitors, capacitors into it. Like I said, I'm not an electrical engineer. But I've done it to the scale of Earth and I came up with some pretty amazing numbers, like 52.6. And I've been saying in my previous videos, it's 60, no, sorry, 51.6 is the, the pitch of the Kofu Pyramid. And then uh, you've got this gap, a certain distance. I came 56, 56. I got uh, in this, I reduced the uh, tropic distance to 47. I worked on degrees actually, when it came to my millimeters, so 51.6 degrees actually. I just used 51.6 millimeters instead of, and then this, this size model, instead of 47 degrees for the tropics. Yeah, because 23.4 each side. I halved it, so I've got 23 here, so I've got that 23 here, 23 in the middle here. But to get this winding proper, there's a bit of thought needed in there. You have to do a bigger model to get, or you know, if you want to make these heavy duty, like a lot more cabling in here, twist some cable, twist some copper, get the energy really pumping, you'd have to have a bigger hole, I think. And you have to make a bigger model. But I see it as a, an outside unit which can suck air back in here, it recycles that, uh, replenishes the atmosphere, and ionizes, purifies the atmosphere. And, um, or, you know, create the plasma, create all the energy back down there. Uh, as an outside unit, and uh, I'm sure if there's a little bit of current flowing in there, it'll, you'll get your over unity to power, for a power supply. Otherwise you're closing in the system like this. So because there's all this powerful spin in here, magnetic field in here, that's what suck, draws that back into there. It's not going to flow that way because it's rushing back to here. That's uh, all the higher pressure. So the low pressure wants to rush back into it. Nothing much going on out here. Probably something to do with the um, auroras. <laughs> but this is the way it works. Someone's going to have to click. It's about, you know, um, resonating frequency, AC induction for this system. Anyway, I'll put that aside for a sec. And I'll just read what Tesla's left. I don't know if he did it this way to, to, to hide it or someone's altered his words, but this is what he said. Thus altering his mass independently, both in bulk and density, something. What is most wonderful of all is he is capable of capable of increasing or diminishing his velocity of movement. This could be the current flowing in the system. By the mysterious power he possesses by appropriating more or less energy from other substance, from another substance, and turning it into motive energy. But in any given mo moment, we may ignore these slow changes and assume that e human energy is measured by half the product of man's mass with the square of a certain hypothetical velocity. So you want to be you want to be thinking about this as you're reading this, because I think there's a thing to do with the man's body. Uh, however, 
we may compute this velocity in whatever we may take as the standard of its measure, we must in harmony with this conception come to the conclusion that this great problem of science is and always will be to increase the energy thus defined. The three ways of increasing this energy, let them in diagram A, and I've misplaced the diagram, sorry, <laughs> Uh, a to M represent the mass of man and there wasn't a picture of man I tell you it was a picture similar to this with a gap uh, the mass is impelled in one direction by a force F which is resistant by another partly fictional and partly negative force R acting in the direction exactly opposite and retarding the movement of mass such an antagonistic force is present in every movement and must be taken into consideration. The difference between these two forces is the effective force which imparts a velocity f to the mass m. In the direction of the arrow on the line representing force f. It's all aiming to the centre here, the gap. In accordance with the preceding with in accordance with the preceding, the human energy will be given by the product mv2 equals mv times v, in which m is the total mass of man in the ordinary interpretation of the term mass and v is a certain hypothetical velocity which in present state of science we are unable to exactly define and determine. To increase to, to increase to human energy is therefore equivalent to increasing this product and there are as readily seen increasing this product and there are as readily be seen only three ways possible to obtain this result which are illustrated in the above diagram. The first way to increase the top figure is to increase the mass and indicate as indicated by the dotted circle, leaving the two opposing forces the same. These opposing forces here. The second way is to reduce the retarding force R to a smaller value R, leaving the mass and the impelling force the same as diagrammatically shown in the middle figure. The third way, which is illustrated in the last figure, is to increase the impelling force F I think F was the gap to a higher value F while the mass and the retarding force R remain unaltered. Evidently fixed limits exist as regards increase of mass and reduction of retarding force but the impelling force can be increased indefinitely. Each of these three possible solutions presents a different aspect of the main problem of increasing human en energy which thus divided into the three distinct problems to be successfully considered. Now some will laugh and think that's got nothing to do with this model or this figure but I'm putting it out there for those who can think. Now you'll know and all ever pick up on this but from the Holy Grail, this is basically the Holy Grail from the King Arthur story, it's about the spelling it out, the waterfall down in here, going fishing. You've got your line, drop your line down in here. So you think I'm mad, but I'm going to say it anyway. This is a bit taken away from it. Uh, many later works have two wounded grail kings. So there's the two. They're, they're wounded, as in wounded coils, who live in the same castle, a father and son. Father and the son, or grandfather and grandson. The more seriously wounded father stays in the castle. It's in there, right in the centre there, that's where the action is. Sustained by the grail alone. And what's the grail? Oh, I'll tell you what the grail is. Yeah. You look up the etymology of grail, right? Uh, the Holy Grail, from Old French, Grail, Grail, Holy Grail, cup, either large, shallow dish, basin, 
from medieval Latin gradalis, also gradale, grassale, a flat dish or shallow vessel. The original form is uncertain. The word is perhaps ultimately from Latin crater, bowl, crater. No? What does it look like in the middle there? A crater, bowl, trust me, it's spelled out in the Holy Grail. King Arthur story. Uh, sustained by the grail alone, because that's where the energy is. That's where the that's where the king is, right in that middle there. With the more active sun, can meet with guests and go fishing. And the story, it's he's out here. He's dropped his line down here, straight down there, fishing. That's the waterfall. It's mentioned in the grail too. The waterfall fishing. Uh, you get there's the two parallel currents. This is in physics, it's all about the two parallel currents and the magnetic field created between them. Uh, so, as guess, the guess is the what's being created in this gap. The guess for the program. You've got this happening, this happening, but you've got this third entity in here. I'm calling the guest uh, for the by the grout. While the more active sun can meet with guests and go fishing. For the purpose of clarity in the remainder of this article, where, where both appear, the father will be called the wounded king, the son named the Fisher King. Uh, the Fisher King legend imply that he becomes unable to father or support a next. I don't want the rest of that. It was a while ago. But anyway, that's the system. Someone's going to click one day. It's all about creating the magnetic fields. And, um, oh, there's another article, I'll probably, probably put another video, uh, video regarding uh, what Tesla was saying about the mechanical side. We need to, we're not going to advance till we start seeing not the physical, but the non physical, understanding the non physical. And that's basically creation in the world, the, the magnetic field, what we don't see.